So in this video today, I'll be reviewing the Kales Ultra Facial Cream and before this uh, moisturizer became popular, before it broke out on the internet as Kim K's moisturizer, I had been using it. As you can see, I have run through several jars of this. So if anyone should be talking to you about this moisturizer, if anyone knows what they're saying right now about this moisturizer, it's definitely me. <laughs> First time of seeing my face, my name is Deacon, and I do everything skincare, beauty, and lifestyle. I do product recommendation videos and also review videos like this one. So, if you are in love with your skin or you want to get interested in anything beauty and lifestyle, then definitely make sure that you're subscribed. I have a lot of germs on this channel that would help you catapult your beauty and skincare game to another level. So, definitely make sure that you're subscribed and that your notification bell is turned on. That's the bell button right close to the subscribe button, it's turned on so you're notified every single time that I post the video because I would love to have you much longer and if you're a returning subscriber hey my darling thank you for tuning back in today I appreciate you guys you guys have my heart as always of course before we get into this video today please make sure to thumbs up this video to let YouTube know that you like my content it goes a long way in helping my channel grow I would really appreciate if you can do that for me so in today's video we'll be talking about the Kale's ultra facial cream and for good reasons this moisturizer became popular recently and that is because our famous Kim Kardashian used this or her makeup artist used this on her face as her moisturizer so it just sort of broke out on the internet and created so much traffic to this product so of course you're watching this video today because as others you're also curious to know what it is about this moisturizer that makes it so popular right now that wants to make it a core favorite so by the end of this video you should be able to know if it's something you want to put your money on if it's something you want to try if it's worth the hype or it's just one of those internet things and everything I'm going to say about this product today is just about my experience with this product as well so if it's something you like or something that you don't like I would leave you to make your final verdict about the product and also take everything that I say with a grain of salt so first of all I'm gonna speak on the size and the price of this product and um, they have three sizes from what I see on their website but the ones that I have gotten in contact with is this two sizes which is the medium and the large there is a smaller one so the medium size is a 50 ml jar and the big size that is the large one is a 125 ml jar from the conversion that I just made for the price point um, this 50 ml one that's the medium one is about $34 or $33 and then the bigger one which is the 125 ml jar is about $64 so yeah judging from the price point in my opinion it is not your average affordable moisturizer but it is somewhere in the middle because it is not also overly expensive so it is something that might seem like a splurge because there is a lot other cheaper moisturizers than this so yeah let's get into the properties of this product so that you would then know if it is worth your money so when it comes to how long a jar can last you for from what I have noticed from personal experience is that the 50 ml jar can last you about a month a month and a half and also the bigger one that is the 125 ml can last Last you up to two months or two and a half months so it depends on how you use how generous you are with products but just keep this time frame in mind when purchasing any of these sizes so first you guys know that I like to go over the brand claim of a certain product whenever I'm reviewing and then we are going to later speak or an if it actually does what it says. So I'm gonna read everything like it says here. It says Kills Ultra Facial Cream 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula for healthy looking skin with glacial glycoprotein. Our unique fast absorbing cream provides water replenishment throughout the day by absorbing moisture from the air for continuous comfort and moisture balanced skin. This ultra hydrator helps to strengthen the skin barrier and is formulated with olive derived squalene highly effective at helping to maintain skin's moisture and antacticine a glycoprotein so now this 
glycoprotein is extracted from microorganisms in sea glaciers, glaciers, I hope I'm correct, and notable for its ability to thrive in extreme climates. So yeah, this is what this product says. And the back says here, yeah, this exceptional formula is inspired by the adventure testing heritage of kales from the first ascent of Greenland's peaks and scaling of Mount Everest to the individual adventures of our customers around the world. So now reading through this again, this is such a fancy way of putting out a product. It gives you all this luxury, you know, vibe and everything. So their construct of word and how it appeals to me feels a lot luxurious so right now i feel like i've actually been messing with the real thing with the way they've constructed their words on their packaging but now let me tell you my experience with this product so first impression when you open this product up it is white in color it doesn't have like any weird sort of color it is like plain pure white um cream and then for how this product smells it smells just blair like there is no particular fragrance attached to this product hence why I also like it because personally I do not like products that have lots of fragrance in it so yeah this is just Blair it's it's like what a moisturizer is supposed to be in my opinion because I don't think we need the perfumes or the fragrance in face care products like that I'm moving on to the texture this is a lightweight um, it's not gel like I wouldn't say it feels like a lightweight cream that is not oily not greasy it's just perfect like the consistency and the texture of this cream is what a moisturizer should be like i feel like this particular moisturizer can a lot of skin types can get away with using it even if you're oily you're dry your combination whatever skin type so it's just a moisturizer with a very nice texture that is not to the extreme but keeps you moisturized and actually does the job so yeah i would like to point out that it is not oily and it is not dry it is somewhere perfectly in the middle for all skin types so now how to use this product of course as you use your other moisturizers you want to go in after you've used your toner and your serum or essence and all of those things so your moisturizer is always the last step before your sunscreen so yeah for how much you need to apply with this product a pea size goes a long way um, it is a product that is very generous in its texture so you don't need too much for your skin to feel great and that is another reason why I love this product once you've applied this product on your skin what you feel is like a rich velvety silky um, consistency it just feels Feels so rich and silky on the skin is a product that you actually have a good time applying on your skin because of how it feels it does feel great and does not sting or give any form of unpleasant feeling on the skin now once you're done applying this product on your skin how does it now look on your skin this product has a dewy and very fresh finish I'm going to put a video somewhere in the screen so you guys can see how it looks when I apply on my skin or how my skin would look after I have applied this product so your skin feels super soft and looks really dewy and when it comes to the dry down of this product it actually dries down dewy and doesn't leave like an unpleasant matte feeling on your skin so it's a moisturizer that actually balances out your skin so one thing I didn't want to point out when it has to do with the Kales ultra facial cream is how it pairs with other um, products now what I did notice is when I use this product with the hyaluronic acid serum um, it doesn't just pair well with hyaluronic acid serum for me and now note that the hyaluronic acid serum that I was using with this product was the one from the ordinary so if I would rub this product into my skin I would notice that it would then leave like residues that like once I take it into my skin for a while it then gives like this residue like this sort of silicone kind of rubber kind of residues falling from some parts of your face and I only noticed this when I used it with the hyaluronic acid serum so I stopped pairing the two of them together and I was great with using this product I wanted to put that out there because yes there are products that don't just pair well with other products but that doesn't mean that they are bad you just need to know how it works but yes it pairs well with sunscreen any type of sunscreen that I have used after using this product paired a lot well with it. One thing I also noticed about this product is that yes it applies well on the skin and also it works well with makeup under makeup. Actually what I have on my face today under my makeup so it works well but what you want to do when applying this product is you want to not rub it into your skin you want to dab into your skin carefully give the product some time and grace to absorb into your skin on its own and that is when you would get the best with using this as a moisturizer under your makeup. 
Okay, so now let's speak on the longevity of this product, how long it will last on your skin after you've used it. Okay, on a very good day, if I'm at home, I notice that this lasts on my skin for over six to eight hours. And also it has this lasting radiance and shine on your skin. Doesn't make you look oily, but it keeps you looking radiant and shiny, if you get what I mean. That is why I said that this is a good moisturizer in just balancing out your skin and keeping your skin looking fresh all day. Now, let me talk on the results that I got with this product. And um, when I started using it, um, before then, I had not been really into good moisturizers like that. So this just sort of changed the game for me with moisture. This moisturizes my skin so well. So the result that you would get with a product like this is that your skin would constantly be moisturized in the way that it should actually be moisturized. Also, a product like this will help with balancing out your skin, like I said earlier, keeping you moisturized for longer hours and just protecting your skin from getting dry and dehydrated. So now to my final verdict with this product. Is the product worth the hype? I would say that this is a product that you would need to keep your expectations moderate. Sometimes when celebrities use like skincare products, we just think that when we use this product, we are going to get this airbrush, blood out skin, but that is not usually the case. You cannot get that type of skin with one application. You need several applications of different types of skincare products to actually get that type of result. And it's not something that that happens instantly it is a good moisturizer yet but you definitely want to keep your expectations moderate and not think too much into having like an overly drastic result with this moisturizer Remember that there is no one product that does it all. This is definitely not the only thing that has contributed to her beauty and her skincare game. There's a lot of other things that these celebrities do, which we are going to get into by the grace of God. But yeah, I wanted to say that yes, this is a good moisturizer, but with every product, I always tell you guys to keep your expectations moderate. If it blows your mind, fine. If it doesn't, then good. So now over to rating this moisturizer, I would definitely rate the Kales Ultra Facial Cream a solid nine over 10, because yes, it is a good moisturizer it does the job in moisturizing your skin and it has a little bit of a mind-blowing effect when you actually use it so do i think it's worth the hype yes i think it is worth the hype of the internet as of this moment i would say that if you have some extra coins to spend on this and you would just want to have an experience of what a luxury moisturizer would feel like on a budget in a type of way then definitely you might want to splurge on this you guys know that i don't like you wasting money on like things that are not good but this is one that i would say that if you do have the money for this then definitely go for this yes there are other moisturizers that are cheaper that also works great i'm going to drop a tip in the description bar so definitely check that out so yeah that'll be it for this video please if you're not subscribed by now definitely make sure that you subscribe thumbs up this video to let youtube know that you like my content and let me know Know that you like my content have you tried this facial cream before let me know in the comment section let me know what you feel about it is it what the hype is it not what the hype and also if you're going to be trying it out let me know if you have any other questions for me then drop it in the comment section then i'll do well to get at it but if you also just want me to know that you were here on this channel today please drop some love hearts for me and i'll definitely get to replying every one of you thank you so much for watching today and as usual i wish you a beautiful perfect and luscious skin and i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah.